sixth grade module three lesson 18 problem set number one find the length of the line segment with endpoints 7 2 and negative 4 2 and explain how you arrived at your solution so first we need to know what axis they are intersecting at or whether it's going to be in other words how if it's going to be horizontal or vertical so um, let's plot them you don't need to plot them but I'm going to just to show you what I'm talking about one two three four five six seven two would be about right there and then negative four two one two three four would be right there so you can see if we were to draw a line through these there would be a horizontal line that intersects the y-axis so they have what do they have in common so they have they both have two as their y coordinate and so there's a horizontal line going through the y-axis now if we want to find the length of the line segment what we need to do is find the absolute values of each x-coordinate because they are the ones that are different so the absolute value of negative 4 is 4 and the absolute value of 7 is 7 now since they are on opposite sides of 0 one's over here, one's to their left, one's to the right what we're going to do is add them together if they were on the same side we would subtract them so 4 plus 7 is 11 so the length of the line segment would be 11 units and the line segment meaning the line segment that would go from 4, negative 4, 2 to 7, 2 that purple line segment is 11 units long Number two, Sarah and Jamal were learning partners in math class and were working independently. They each started at the point negative two, five and moved three units vertically in the plane. Each student arrived at a different endpoint. How is this possible? Explain and list the two different endpoints. Okay, so they both start at negative two, five, but and move three units vertically. So vertically means up and down. So different choices could be, let's say Sarah decides to move three units up. Oops. So let's say Sarah decides to go three units up. So I'm going to plot three more points. She might end up at, so this one was negative two, five, negative two, eight. So three more units and maybe Jamal went down three units down one two three and ended up right here at negative two two so those are two different points because vertically just means up or down so let's say vertical vertically means up or down on the number line moving three units up would be negative two eight and three units down would be negative two two number three the length of a line segment is 13 units one endpoint of the line segment is negative three seven find four points that could be the other endpoints of the line segment okay so i'm just going to plot it so that we can see it so negative three seven so this point is right here and we want to find four units that are or four points that are 13 units away. So I'm thinking we can go in four different directions. Out 13, up 13, to the left 13, and down 13. 
let's start with negative 3, 7. And if we wanted to move that to the right 13 units, that would be moving this direction or moving the x-axis 13 units. So I'm going to do negative 3 plus 13. So if I do negative 3 plus 13, I'll get to 0. And then negative 3 plus 13 would be 10. So I would end up right here. And my x coordinate or my y coordinate would stay the same. So we can use 10, 7. You can basically do this by just adding or subtracting 13, adding and subtracting 13 to each x and y coordinate. So now let's subtract 13 and find out what point if we went 13 to the left. So let's do negative 3 minus 13. Negative 3 minus 13 would be negative 16. So another point would be negative 16, 7. Now let's go up and down. So if I wanted to go down and I start with negative 3, 7, the, if I'm going vertically, that is affecting the y coordinate. So if I want to go down, not negative 3, I want 7, I'm subtracting. So 7 minus 13 is negative 6. So another point would be negative 3, negative 6. And then the last one, if I want to go up, I'm going to add 13 to my y coordinate. So let's do 7 plus 13 is equal to 20. So my last point would be negative 3, 20. So I have 10, 7, negative 16, 7, negative 3, negative 6, and negative 3, 